Welcome to the Ingalls Table. I'm Lindsay Moore and I'm going to share one of my favorite recipes with you today. My blog, Just a Little Organic, focuses on wellness, personal growth, style, and of course, food. Remember, the full recipe and shopping list are at ingallstable.com. You can print it out or pull it up on your phone. Now let's get cooking. All right, we just got back from Ingalls and we're about to make my chicken tikka masala. We've got whole milk yogurt and we're gonna marinate the chicken. I've already have some marinating over there to save time, but um, I'll show you how to marinate this. We've got our spices, which are cumin, cardamom, curry powder, and turmeric. And then I've already mixed that together. And we're gonna add fresh garlic and ginger. And we're only gonna use half of this mixture for the yogurt marinade. Into the yogurt goes half of this mixture. We'll use the second half later. You can let it marinate for anywhere from one to four hours. A little bit of lemon juice. Give it one more stir. I'm gonna pour this into the chicken. And we'll pop this in the fridge and bring over our marinated chicken in a minute. We'll cover this up and let it sit in the fridge for a little while and grab the other chicken. Voila. All right, so now our pot is heating to medium heat and I'm gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of butter. And this is where everything is gonna cook besides the chicken for now. And then once this butter melts, we'll add the onions, jalapeno, a bit of cardamom, and tomato paste. And we're gonna let this cook until the onion softens and the tomato paste browns a bit. So we'll cook maybe for about four to five minutes and we'll stir often just to make sure that nothing burns but everything browns nicely. All right, while our sauce is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and place the chicken onto this rimmed baking sheet lined with tin foil and with a rack on top into the oven. So just make sure each piece of chicken has its own spot on the baking sheet. I'm gonna pop this in the broiler for 10 minutes or so and then we'll finish our sauce. All right, that's nice and browned. Now we're gonna add the remaining half of the spice mixture. So we'll give that a quick stir. Mmm, smells delicious. All right, now the next part is kind of fun. We're gonna add our whole peeled tomatoes with the juice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the juice in. We're gonna bring it back up to a boil. And then you're gonna use your hands and just smush the tomatoes. All right, now that our sauce is to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and add heavy cream and cilantro and turn the heat down to simmer while I do that. And I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of cream, heavy whipping cream. And half of our cilantro. I'm gonna save the rest to garnish. We'll simmer until the sauce thickens. You can turn back up the heat. Really, it's best to let it simmer for 20 minutes until the sauce thickens up. All right, so we'll let this simmer for about 20 minutes and we'll be right back. All right, our chicken tikka is done and now it's time to bowl it up. All right, and then you top each bowl with a little bit of cilantro. And we're done. Thanks for joining me here at the Ingalls Table. Remember, you can find more recipes, videos, tips, and tricks at ingallstable.com. Until next time, I'll see you online.